Now I'm going to once again take you through a very powerful project work. Here you'll be activating your kundalini energy by using the power of spiral breathing. Like all of the other project work exercises, don't let this be an isolated event. Take this practice and incorporate it daily, using it anytime you want to give your creation powers a boost or strengthen your mind and body's influence over your new reality. While reflecting about what you would like to fulfill in your life, this is a wonderful breathing exercise. Start in a seated, cross-legged position with spine straight and long. Close your eyes and inhale deeply through your nostrils. As you exhale through your nostrils, imagine a force of energy in front of you as a golden spiral. Inhale and exhale again and let this spiral come closer and closer to your body. Visualize and turn 3D as you draw the spiral on your belly and around your stomach. Begin to see your stomach as this spiral, this central force. Let the breath become one with this internal spiral. Envision what you want to create with this spiral as it starts to come out of your belly button, where creation of your life began, when it was connected to your mother in utero. Let the breath be fluid as it nourishes the spiral. Imagine it to find its way to the gut, your place of intuition. Let this golden spiral emerge from your belly and pull it out as you breathe. and pull it in as you exhale. You see, letting this golden spiral emerge from your belly vibrates with your creative forces. The golden spiral theory states that all energy in creation vibrates at a logarithmic spiral. And underneath it and inside through every spiral is the profound balance of the universal breath of ascending and descending currents of the yang and yin of expansion and contraction and of fire and water continue to breathe slowly in and out with your own steady pace Let your own breath be a reminder that it is unique to your own body. What makes you unique and different? What are your own needs? Let these answers enter your mind as you continue to breathe in and out. As you begin to become aware of these answers, of what makes you who you are and what your needs are, begin to notice if any fears or aversions come up. What are the attachments in your life that hinder you from being your true self? Now as you breathe in and out, exhale these fears and attachments. Let them go, one by one, with each deep breath out. Let the spiral energy give you strength as you release this false identity. This practice, known as non-attachment, is the most important part of the union or the yoga or your inner true self and your journey that you're on. Now take a deep breath in Letting the spiral move from the stomach to your spine, to your third chakra. This is your solar plexus, your powerhouse. 
Energize your core self with who you are with a deep full breath into your belly and then let it out with an audible ha ah, as your tongue moves out and as far towards your chin as possible. Repeat this breath, and then say the affirmation, I feel my own power. Inhale your final breath as the spiral moves upwards, along each vertebrae, and find the energy at the crown of your head. As you exhale through your nostrils, let it out from the crown, towards the sky, and gently open your eyes. Okay, so in this level, you really dug deep into what it takes from your very core and subconscious and every fiber of your being to make your deepest desires a reality. Here's a brief recap with important highlights. One, be sure to understand how the power of the eight petals can be used to reach your outcome and how you can use your third chakra to tap into your physical and mental self. How you control what it makes through to your subconscious through auto-suggestion and the often overlooked power of your imagination. The importance of being you, how you can be stronger through controlling your breath and can even thwart a hungry tiger, and how taking care of your physical self is just as important as developing your mind. They are all incredibly connected. All right, so you're one step closer to projecting yourself. Just keep breathing. I'll see you in level four where you will learn that your heart has an intelligence just as much as your brain, and maybe even more. I'll see you guys in the next level. Thanks a lot.